Hi, Stamping Friends. I'm working on the Altenew Education Program. This is my first submission for the Layering Courses 1 and 2, and I'm working with the Altenew Floral Art Stamp and Die Combo and the Serialine Skies Ink Cube Combo, which I have swatched. I'll be using Nina 80 and 110 pound card and I'm creating a duel of monochromatic cards in today's video. To create a little background noise for my cards, I'm ink blending through a couple of Altenew stencils. These are molded lines and watercolor stripes. I'm starting off by laying a mask over top of my card front. This was created with rectangle dies and it's going to allow me to stencil just the center of my card front. So I'm laying down my stencil. I'm going to protect it with my thicker purple tape. I also use this for die cutting so it's multi-purpose and I use this over and over again as you can tell by the little goobies all stuck all over the place. You can also use post-it note tape. So I'm going to be taking the second lightest of the colors that uh, we're working with today and this is Teal Cave and as you can see I'm using a blending brush and I'm lightly blending the color right through the stencil onto the center of my card front. And I'm just going to do a light touch. I'm not going to get really, really dark. And I'm using the lighter color of this tealy color because my flowers are going to be a little bit darker. So remove my tape to reveal the center. I like doing this. This is a lot of fun. And then off with my mask, and there I have my pretty center. So my second card front, I'm going to tape right down to my work surface, and I'm going to be adding the other stencil, the watercolor stripes, and I'm only going to stencil the ink into the left hand side. I want most of my artwork to be on the left hand side of this card, and so I'm just adding a little background for my stamped and die cut images. So protect it again for the parts that I don't want any ink on. This also holds the stencil down because I didn't use any pixie spray, so it holds it down and stops it from moving around on me. Again, I'm using Teal Cave and my blending tool starting on the left hand side because I want the darkest and then fading to light about the center of the card front. So just quickly working my way down and using just a light touch. I don't want it too dark. You don't want it to take over your card. You want it to be just a little bit of background noise behind your art pieces. So just kind of blending that out and again removing my tape, saving it for later and here's the reveal of my card front. There we go. I'm using my Misty for the layered stamping and Altenew includes an info shoot which shows you the layers and the lineup markings for their stamps. I find if you lay your stamps down into the Misty exactly the same as they have in the instructions, it makes it really easy to follow along with the layering steps that they provide. Okay, let's get stamping. I'm using the Altenew Jet Black for my outline stamping and I'm stamping this onto a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of Nina 80 pound card front. And I'm stamping it a couple of times to make sure I get a nice solid image all the way around, giving it a good rub. I find using a piece of paper towel to uh, rub really does help. And I'm cleaning off the stamp making sure it's good and clean because I'm going to remove it and I'm going to go on to the second one. So the second stamp is the fill-in stamp, as you can see, and there's some markings. You see in those little blue lines in the diagram. So I'm adding my lineup markings with a pencil and then you can also tell by the image itself, okay? So you want to place that right over top of your ink. Make sure it's dry. All to new inks dry really quickly, so there's not usually too much of an issue. And I'm using those little pencil lines and lining up exactly where I want my second image to stamp. And again, this is the fill-in stamp. So closing my misty so that the stamp sticks to the lid and making sure that I didn't move my paper. I'm adding some extra uh, magnets because this is a solid image stamp. I find that they pull up my paper and dislodge it from the corner of my misty. so I always make sure that it's back in the corner before I stamp. And again, because it's a solid image, I am going to ink this up and stamp it twice just to make sure I've got great coverage. Isn't it pretty? Love this color. 
So I'm cleaning off this stamp to move on to the next one, uh, but you'll notice I'm doing two cards. So I didn't do it in the video, but I actually stepped, stamped each one of these twice so that I ended up with two flowers by the time I'm finished. So we're on to layer number three, and that's kind of the center where the little stamens and stuff are. And I'm going with the Galactic Stream, which is the darker of my colors in the same color family. And I'm lining it up with the markers that were on the sheet provided. And again, closing my lids so that my stamp sticks to the top, inking it up in the darker blue, and stamping it. And again, I'm going to do this twice. The solid image sometimes have a little bit of bubbles from the ink, so I like to do it a couple of times to make sure I've got a really nice solid stamped image. So there we go, there's the two, and I'm using the coordinating dies and my purple tape again, and lining them up and holding them in place while I run them through my Gemini Junior. And they're all cut out and ready to go. So you'll notice in the instruction guide that's, that Altenew gives you a whole bunch of ideas to use the other stamps in the set for, in particular the leaves. I've decided to do those in black, and again, I'm going to show you a really fast and easy trick with the Misty. I'm placing my background image in there, my card front, and I've got my flower there, but it's not attached. I'm just using it to space out where I'm going to be positioning my leaves. And there's two sets of leaves that I like to use here that are attached. There's three leaves in each stamp, so that makes it nice and quick. And they're not touching each other, and it also leaves me room to add my sentiment. So I'm going to be stamping all three of these at the same time. One of the many features I love about my Misty. So get that all in place where you want it. Remove your flower. Close the lid so that the stamps stick to the lid. Make sure that your uh, background is right in the corner of the Misty, and stamp I'm adding ink. Again, I'm using the, the Jet Black, and this time I'm using my sleeve because I don't know where my piece of paper towel went. Giving it a good rub, and I'm going to again add a second later to make sure that they're good solid images. Now, isn't this a fast way to finish the background of your card? Love my Misty for this step. So remove the magnets, and I'm going to pop the second one in. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to pop my flower in there. First, I'm going to clean my stamps because I don't want any of that transferring because I'm going to be moving them to different positions. So layering my finished flower in there just for positioning purposes, adding my sentiment, and then I'm going to take the same leaves and reposition them for where I want them on this background. And this one has to be a little bit more condensed because the stenciling I did on the background, of course, is just in the center of the card front. So once you get that all lined up, remove the flower, add some extra magnets if you have them, and use the lines on the lid of your Misty to make sure that your sentiment is lined up properly, that it's not crooked. And then again, the black ink, inking up all three of the stamps at the same time. Popping that lid closed, giving it a good rub, and doing that a second time again to make sure that you have nice, solid black images. I'm really liking this monochromatic. I hope you are too. And without having a whole bunch of colors, it makes it easy to learn this layered stamping as well. So here's all my pieces, and I've added some foam tape pieces to the back just lining up these little guys. I've mounted them onto the card bases, which are four and a quarter by 11, scored and folded at five and a half. And there we go, there's the flowers all finished. The stamp set does have some additional pieces that you could use as background stamping if you wanted to, or you could maybe grab some Nouveau drops and use them. I've decided to use the black ones for just a tiny little bit of highlight. I like clean and simple cards, so I'm just going to make sure that this is working and not having a whole bunch of air bubbles or anything in it before I hit my cards, making sure the tip is clean so I don't leave any residue anywhere, and just lightly giving it a push and adding three different size of dots at the bottom and three different at the top. On the center, on this one where I've just stenciled the center, I'm going to stay away from the stenciling because it's kind of busy there already. So I'm just picking the outside white portion to add a few of these little dots, just for some added interest. 
So voila, there you go. Two cards with three layers of stamping. This stamp set makes it really easy even for beginners to try layering. And uh, Altenew has stamp sets that have up to 10 layers. So if you want to get wild and crazy, have a look at the selection. And I have listed all of the products that I've used today underneath this video. There's also a link over to my blog where you can download a PDF with all the instructions. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and liking it. And until next time, toodles!